everyone, this is Steve O'Sims here playing on Ravenport, Monty Welp's edit of Ravenport. This is our Deerland series where we drive the green paint mostly. Right now we're feeding the cattle. We've got our TMR bunker here, making a little TMR for the cattle. I just realized that I'm an idiot and I could just use this uh, self propelled feed wagon to lift this up. Psst. Oh well. We'll park this and do it the easy way. If you don't already know, you can use this TMR silo to basically make TMR. All you do is put silage in there and it creates TMR after a short amount of work. Hopefully you're all doing good. Enjoyed Easter. You got a good meal at least on Easter Sunday. So, cattle will probably starve. We haven't fed them in a few days. I know, bad dairy men. Cattle on FS19 really go through the food. Don't know if that's real realistic or not. Never really got to feed lot and stuff at a big scale. It's always had a cow calf operation. It's too bad. Uh, Farming simulator doesn't make a cow calf operation mod. It'd be nice if seasons would do that. You could get yearlings every year. Cattle to pasture would be a nice spot to have. The only bad about this facility is they walk through the fence there in the center. Otherwise, it's a pretty good looking dairy barn. Enjoying this TMR bunker here. Wish I had a better way of making silage. I need a standing silo like in 1917 had. Make silage the lazy man way. You guys know of a mod of a standing silo that makes silage? Please put it down in the comments below. It's too bad. 
bad somebody doesn't make a uh, more Americanized feed wagon. I guess this is semi-Americanized, but you don't really see a lot of these. Usually you see a regular truck attachment feed wagon. Take the steak bed off of the dually truck. Put a feeder wagon on the back. It's the normal. We're doing things. Take the TMR over here. I think that's the last TMR load I'll get, and I'll get another load of silage put it in there. that the silage is unloading. That's weird. No. a glitch. Put some in there. Yep. Just watch me So, we are going to max out our load. So, now five fields. Fields are here. We'll make a giant field. Kind of, which farming simulator would make a meter 
fast forward a day. Fast forward another day here. Probably end up combining soybeans here quickly and plant Tanks on it. Don't want to load it that way. It's funny it loads like that. So that will be a humongous field now, so that'll be enjoying, enjoyable to farm a huge field on Ravenport. Probably wait until the daylight. I really wish I could get rid of these bushes right here because they're both on the lane. It has very weird collisions in it right there. Oh no. Looks we got the rains coming. It's going to put a damper on cow bottom. Planting. that parked right there. Probably put our skid loader back. Well, how are the pigs doing? Oh, you got plenty of food. That pig. Let's see. I guess I probably should make sure my, that facility I guess I need to sell the pigs. We will buy pig trade. 
trailer here. And sell the pigs. Once it gets light, I guess. Wish I would have known that earlier. Probably wasted a lot of feeding time there. Yes, hurry, hurry, hurry. That's good. We the grass is ready too. Yep. That's ready to go. Alright. Jump in our truck. We'll sell the pigs first quickly. Take our fatties to the market. Hit a weird collision there. Come on. What did I just hit? That was either that fence or this truck has a weird collision on it. actually sell. So I don't know why farming simulator is like this, but make sure you always got a little thunderstorm going there. So like we have majority black pigs so we want to keep majority of the black pigs and sell all the others because Farming Simulator has a weird glitch that obviously they can't reproduce together. Yes, we do. Unload. The load item down there doesn't show correctly. It's a weird glitch. Now, I know you guys are going to make fun of me, but where do we sell the pigs here? I don't understand. But, uh, the first time I sold pigs here on uh, Ravenport. this trigger. If you were a trigger, where would you be? Where would you be? Is that it? Nope, there's a car on it. If you were a trigger, where would you be? Uh, well, 
get to take the scenic route, folks. There it is. Obviously, it's by the shoot. Duh. Duh. You ever feel dumb when you can't figure out something very simple? There we go. 12,000 dollars. Not gonna get rich quick, folkly. folks here. That's why you don't see many small-time pig farmers anymore. Money is not in pig farming. I know back in the day there were a lot of people. That's how they started out. That wasn't a wise choice. I should have made that a little bit wider. So that's how my dad actually got away started making his first dollars pig farming so and then his twin brother started a pig farm or ranch whatever it be Raising pigs, I guess. Either. I don't know. Maybe you guys have to correct me on the right terminology. I guess raising pigs. Do a little off road and then a forward. now. It is too bad that barn doesn't raise more. I have to get into a script and edit it a little bit. That's a little low. I guess it's pretty realistic though. be our last load we'll sell. Pretty convenient area to have a farm. Literally a couple blocks from the stockyards here. Watch out folks, passing you. Park this rig right by the house. I'm sure that'll make the wife happy. Smelling the pig manure. 
There we go. Now I believe we'll get our planter started. Get our hired hand started on the planter. Plant the corn back again. And we'll start harvesting some soybeans. Actually, I'll have to see if anything's on the fields that we just purchased. Got our DB 60 foot corn planter here. Of course it's John Deere because we are deer land. Like our hard hand missed a little bit right there. Probably won't use course play, we'll just use the regular hired helper here. See the rules, it's pretty cool. Everything spins, moves like it should. So we'll make sure the hired hand turns around correctly here. Never can trust these giants' helpers. They have the air compressor on the back of the machine there. Looks a little small for this planter, but I'm sure it's the correct one. Take a picture there. Alright, we'll leave him be. Grab our, what is this? S780. With our bin extensions here. Go get our 45 foot draper header. like our grass is ready to cut. Got to get on that. Got a lot of stuff to do on this series still. Get behind. So if you watch a lot of my videos, you already know that this is my favorite combine mod. So this is JHHG's John Deere combine mod, uh, 7000 series. So he has the bin extensions on, 
I know he really has a bad name in the modding community, basically, because he steals a lot of stuff, but it is a good mod. I have to give him that. Beautiful green John Deere. Probably over a half million right here. Let's see. What is here? Uh oh. Cut. This would be... This is oats. This is barley. Uh, guess we can harvest the... The oats. Want to harvest that? Before we plow it in? John Deere. So looks like it's almost ready to cut this off. So if you don't know, I'm start trying something out here. I'm just while I'm taping my time lapse series, I'm just briefly going over what we'll be doing. So we will finish harvesting the soybeans here. Uh, finish planting the corn, and we might uh, start extending the large fields start connecting fields so either or you can either watch this if you would much rather listen to me talk and explain what we're doing on each series or you can watch the time lapse or you can watch both it doesn't matter to me so let me know if you like this or not this is just a way because i don't have any more time to do any more taping than what i currently have i work full time in the military and we're about a 50 60 hour week and then this takes probably about all together uh, 15 hours total in my week so there's still need my personal time so let me know this is one option i have to get a video out every day or try to get a video out every day and still enjoy my life so let me know if you like this or not if not just keep doing it the old, old way doesn't matter to me so thanks for joining us and we will see you later remember to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching Hey YouTube, this is Steve-O Sims here. I could really use your help. So like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for helping the channel grow.